Welcome to our High Torque Movement AA Cell page. This page allows you to select an excellent clock motor for clock repair or to build a new large clock. A couple of key points to make sure it is the right selection for you. When you're repairing a clock or building a new one, there's two key measurements. One is how long are my clock hands? When you measure clock hands, your only concern is with the minute hand. And you measure a minute hand from the mounting hole to the tip, from the mounting hole to the tip, mounting hole to the tip, never this tail part. That will give you the correct measurement for your minute hand. And since you're on this page, you're looking for a high torque hand that can drive large, high torque movement that can drive large hands. Hands that are over five inches need a high torque motor. On this page, we have two motors. One is, I'll show you how to measure this. This is a measurement. We're gonna measure from the base of the movement. So if you took out your old movement, you have to remove it to replace it. So measure from the base, and you're going to get the overall length. And, in, and the overall length is only important if you have a lens, so your hands do not hit the lens. But if you don't have a lens on your clock, you're really concerned with the threaded part. As you can see, this is 7 sixteenths of an inch. So it'll go through material up to 3 eighths of an inch. So then you can put on the washer and the hex nut and secure it to your dowel material. The other option you have, this is a great option, it is 11 and 16 inch, that's the threaded part. So it can go through material that is 5 eighths of an inch thick. Now let me show you how you would mount your hands. First, because we have the American eye shaft, it's a beautiful high torque motor because you have an extended minute hand, which makes it easier if you're, when, you're, when you're mounting your hands. But the first thing you do is put on the hour hand. And this is a press on, you press it down, so it's nice and secure. And then the eye shaft, as you can see, this is oblong. So you're gonna match that right up to the hand shaft. And then one, now if I was going to put a second hand on here, um, I could put the second hand on. I would put the minute nut on, and then I'd put the second hand. But in this case, I'm not going to put that on. So all I need to use is the cap nut, so it has a really nice finish to it. And I just secure that. So that's the cap nut. And there, that's how you place the hands on. Now, let's go over... The shaft. I want to show you something because we offer two great shafts. So I'm going to bring up bring a large dowel here for you. All right, let me move some of this stuff out of here. Okay, now let's see. That should be good. I hope you can see that. So in this case, we're going to use the threaded shaft that's seven sixteenths. So I have to grab that one rubber washer in here. Remember, you get all the hardware you need to mount this, so you don't have to worry about that. But the rubber mark goes on. Now, if I would put this through here, you see I have a lot of the threaded shaft sticking out. That might be fine, but if you wanted a little more cosmetic look, you only really need about an eighth of an inch. So in this case, I'm going to get, I got some washers, 5 16 inch washers from the hardware store. I'm going to put two of them on there. Just shim it back a little bit, and then you can see, stick that through. See, we just got the right amount of the right amount of thread coming through there. So let me reach underneath here. I put my washer on. And then I'm going to put, if I can do this over here like this to show you. And I'm going to put the hex nut on. Get that settled down there. Got to get that seated just about right, and then it'll, uh, and then it'll just spin down. And then when you're tightening down the hex nut, you just want to make it hand tight. 
Don't tighten it too far. If you tighten it too far, it could affect the movement. The clock might run slow. So just hand tighten it down. Hand tighten it is just perfect.